everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I like to make lifestyle and beauty videos. For today's video, it'll air more on the lifestyle side because I would like to do what's in my gym bag. So before I get started, I just want to point out the new background behind me. We have moved and you may also hear some construction noise, so bear with me if there's some beeping and um, pounding and odd noises. Let's just ignore that and now I, that I've done my intro, let's get into it. Before I show you what's in my bag, I will show you the bag itself. The brand is Gaiam, I believe, G-A-I-A-M, and this is from Kohl's. It has side pockets for water bottles, and it has a front zipper pocket for whatever you need in that pocket. Then there is a front pocket that I like to keep my headphones in. So we'll start with my headphones. These uh, were a Christmas gift that I got. They are wireless. I highly, highly, highly recommend wireless um, headphones. Well, I mean they're Bluetooth. They have a wire, um, but they're Bluetooth. These are by JLab, and I'll show you what they look like here. For these headphones, you just stick them on your ears and then bend the piece around your ear, and they fit pretty well, except for the fact that I have abnormally small, tiny ears, and these I think are too big, and I've heard that in reviews before about these, that they can be too big. They work fine. I do notice when I'm running or doing hit cardio, they will fall out, so I do have to kind of fudge with them. I absolutely love the idea of cordless and wireless headphones because no one wants a cord all wrapped around, somewhere around their back, or twisted up, and it's a lot easier to work out if you just have one less thing to worry about like that, and then you can just focus on your music and your workout and get it done. Now I'm gonna take you through what I keep in the front pocket of my gym bag. I'll be honest, it is mostly food. So starting out, I have protein bars for post-workout recovery. First off, RX bar. These are clean protein bars, and if you actually read the ingredients on your food and you look at protein bars, they are filled with gunk, let me tell you. But this one has three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, and no BS. They do not mess around. I buy them in bulk at Costco. Those are great. Then if I am on my way to the gym, I'm super hungry and I know it's gonna affect my workout and I won't be able to work out fasted, Lara bar. I'll grab a Lara bar, also a clean snack bar. I wouldn't call it a protein bar, although this one, let's see, the protein in this is four grams. So yes, not a protein bar, but it is something that I'll use to curb my appetite. Sometimes if I'm gonna have this, I'll probably eat half of it before the gym. That way I don't have a stomach ache as I'm working out. And then, Oh, these are so good. Okay, Caveman chocolate bars. Also buy them at Costco. They are paleo. They are good for a sweet tooth. Um, <laughs> not, again, not a, a um, protein bar, but they're a good snack bar to curb your appetite. And I also like to keep these in my gym bag just in case I'm working out really hard and I need to replenish my energy or I'm gonna pass out on my way home or even during my workout. I'll have a, a few bites of one of these. Um, before I put this away, this is gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and it is part of the non-GMO project. So these ones are really good, very tasty. Next, I'm gonna go over a few supplements. I don't keep the full bottle of these in my bag. However, I do wanna go over them because they're something that I take to help my body recover after a hard workout. First, I have L-glutamine from Jero gyro formulas. It supports muscle tissue and immune function and this will help your muscles repair themselves after a hard workout. And then next I like to take rhodiola. Guessing I'm saying that right but I don't know if you can read it. It's a tricky one. It is an adaptogenic herb. It helps the body to adapt to stress of daily life. It is also shown to help with fat burning and it is a good pre-workout to take. It does give me a little bit of energy when I'm going to work out too. And then the other thing that I keep in the front pocket is my phone holder. When I'm at the gym, I don't use this very often unless I'm just keeping my phone and a few things with me. But this one's a cheap one from Amazon. I'll have it linked in the description. I was really adamant about finding one that zipped over my phone and could also hold a credit card or debit card, but I didn't like the ones that you just slip the debit card into the back because it didn't seem too, too secure to me. So when I found this one, I got it right away. It's pretty cheap. 
um, but it has this little pocket inside and then your phone goes in here. You can also place uh, headphones here. I won't undo that anyways. Um, it is cheap though. You can kind of tell it's coming apart already and I've had it for a few months, but it stays together pretty well by Velcro on my arm and it, I bought it for an iPhone and now that I have a Google phone, I was worried that it wouldn't fit in here. No problems at all. So, uh, okay, it's a little snug, but I have a big case on my phone. Before I show you what's in the big pocket, let's look real quick in this side pocket. I don't keep a water bottle in both pockets, so you just keep one in one side and then my lock for the gym in the other side, so I can just quick grab it, stick it on my locker. I go to a big gym and they highly recommend a lock for your locker. So I went to the store and I looked at the, for the highest level of the hardest to break into or whatnot and they said this one was a good one because it is letters instead of numbers you set the word you want and then you just twist it lock it good to go uh, so this is a master lock and again I'll have a link for it down below now on to the fun part I'm just gonna grab at random from all of these goodies so well let's not do too random let's get the noise maker out of the way this is my blender bottle that's a sports mixer. I bought it from Costco. I shop a lot at Costco and I carry this in my bag and I'll also have some protein powder and I will do a mix of protein powder and water right after the gym. That way I get protein into my system right away and I just noticed this is empty. I haven't refilled it but the protein powder I use is the organic protein by Orgain in creamy chocolate fudge and it is so good there is no added sugar i think it's sweetened with um, stevia it's a pea protein also purchased at costco and i'll keep a scoop of this i think the serving size is two scoops which would be 20 grams of protein but i like to do one scoop which is about 10 grams of protein right after my workout and then i'll go home shower and then about a half an hour after my workout i will get more protein in from um food instead of just protein powder. So I have a blender bottle and protein powder. Then I have a leather jump rope. This is a weighted leather jump rope. I don't have a link to the specific one, but I'm going to link some down below. And jump rope is amazing for warm up. Do 100 jumps in a row and you will increase your endurance and warm yourself up so fast if you can find a place in your gym. I find my gym actually is really difficult to find a place where you can jump rope and feel like you're not gonna hit anyone who walks by. It's always kind of freaky when you're jumping at rope and then someone walks by and they kind of give you a look and you're like, don't worry, I won't hit you, but then maybe I will because I'm really tired because jump ropes are tiring. Anyways, um, so yes, I recommend a jump rope. This is a really full bag, by the way. Then I have a microfiber sweat towel pretty much. I was working out with a trainer at the gym and she said, you know, we provide our own towels and I, I didn't really say it, but I wanted to be like, you know, I sweat a whole lot more than the average person. So I need something to really soak up my sweat. I don't care if that's gross. Um, so I went on Amazon and I found a three pack of these for a fairly good price. And I think these work really well. These towels are very well sized. So that is actually a really nice feature because you get uh, quite a bit of use out of them. Next, let's talk boxing gloves. These are what I have, and I will put one on for you just because we're fun like that. Boxing is the best workout for your core and back that I can think of. Um, at least for me, it's the most fun. So these ones cover most of your hand. They're padded here. Your fingers are exposed, but they should be, you know, gripped anyways when you're punching. So that's not a problem and they're very comfortable. I've noticed inside that until you wear them in, you kind of, um, it rubs on your hands a little bit so it can make your hands a little raw if you're not careful. A lot of people like to wrap their hands. I don't because I'm tempering my hands, which means you're kind of building them up and making them a little more tough. So you, that's totally personal preference if you want to wrap your hands or not. Also take your rings off if you're going to be doing boxing. Next, I have some facial wipes. I like to wipe my face down as soon as I'm done at the gym because I notice I break out a whole lot more if there's been sweat sitting on my face for a while. And you can even use these on your body too if you find that you break out because you have been sitting in your sweat a little bit like on your way home. So I usually hop in the car and then start 
a little uh, after gym shower. These are Burt's Bees facial cleansing towels, and I'm going to link them below as well as a few cleaner alternatives. I have been into finding out um, less toxic beauty products lately, so I think I'm going to do a video on that. These ones aren't bad, but I think there are better out there. Okay, so this next one you can't make fun of me for, but I was looking high and low for a container to hold my hair ties and bobby pins in, and I couldn't find anything with, that was exactly what I needed until I found this Q-tip container. And I bought this and took the Q-tips out just so I could use the packaging. It is perfect to fit a few hair ties in and bobby pins. This is small enough to go in all of my purses and I can always find it because it's that odd shaped thing that's in the bottom of my bag. Next, I have a makeup bag. I got this one at Target. It is Sonia Kashuk, which I am obsessed with that brand. I'm going to be doing a whole separate video on what's in my gym makeup bag, so stay tuned for that. But you don't get to see this just yet, otherwise this video would be so incredibly long. And then I have, ooh, okay, these are fairly cheap gloves, but these are for weightlifting. They look really funny. They look like they kind of forgot part of the glove, but these are really good if you don't want a bunch of sweat on your hands from strangers and also to help grip the um, weights better. So these gloves are a little big on me, but um, three of your fingers are exposed and then two aren't. I don't know much about working out to the point where I could explain the reasoning for that, but I like these for the um, texture on them so it helps you grip a little better and if you're climbing a rope it's good to have texture so these ones are helpful for that and i hate the texture of a rope when you're climbing it it just it makes me cringe next i have an essentials bag this is by the aloha brand my mom and dad actually picked this up in hawaii so i will try and find a link for it below but um oh there are some feminine products in here um anyways i'll try and find a link if i can't then uh any bag will do I like to keep dry shampoo in my essentials bag. I also keep a deodorant. This is an old one. I have switched to the Tom's deodorant, which doesn't have aluminum and some of the toxins in it. But um, I have that one there as like an emergency. And then the next things I won't show you, um, feminine products, because you know, in case of emergency, an extra pair of underwear definitely not showing you that, and some socks. So this is just my essential like, oops, I forgot something or I'm going out after and I totally forgot to bring that this or that. Okay, that is all that is in my gym bag. I just wanted to show you the inside without everything in it. So it's a very spacious bag. It also has this side pocket here. I usually keep a um, hairbrush in here and then because you can never have enough hair ties, I also keep in this um, little zipper pocket more hair ties. I just, I buy a lot of hair ties because I lose a lot of hair ties, so you will find them all over my stuff. All right, so that was everything that I keep in my gym bag. That is no longer in my gym bag because I took it out and threw it all on the floor. But anyways, I hope this video was fun and it was helpful to you. I hope you got some new ideas of what to keep in your gym bag. And if you have any must-haves that you like to use at the gym, comment down below because I'm totally interested to find some new things to use at the gym, kind of mix up my workout. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video, only if you liked it, of course. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be posting some more videos, like I said, a what's in my gym makeup bag video. Hopefully will be coming soon. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!